Love the show. <laughs> I know. I want to go see it now. You know, now that uh, the Shea season has started and we know the weather's going to take a turn in a little mm -hmm. while, Jen, it's going to be indoor weather pretty soon. Yeah, fast. we're almost there, like starting to put that on the calendar. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be tap dancing or anything over <laughs> here, by the way. <laughs> also, the weather, we're not quite there yet, although the sun icons over the next couple days will be matching my dress. Just not tonight yet. We have still these clouds in place, a little bit of sunshine trying to break through uh, for the evening, but we have another batch of rain on the way. As you can see, zooming in here just off to the Southwest continues to approach Chautauqua County, just starting to move in there actually through Northeast and Ripley right now. And then we'll see some of these showers over the lake uh, move into Buffalo over the next couple hours. All right, look ahead. There's some of these rain showers. At least they're arriving after the evening commute. They will last at least at times into tomorrow morning. You can see that on future look. Otherwise, we'll be cloudy and most of the showers early tomorrow morning will stay south and inland of Buffalo, maybe even isolated thunderstorm as well. Thursday afternoon, though, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, gorgeous for Thursday night, and then more of the same on Friday, a mix of clouds and sunshine, partly sunny skies, with clouds increasing. All right, we're heading south to the Gulf. We continue to watch and track the hurricane, the center near Cancun. This is Hurricane Helene. It's a Category 1 hurricane currently, but it continues to strengthen. Winds right now sustained, maximum sustained winds, 85 miles per hour. It continues to move slowly to the north at 12 miles per hour. Notice, though, it is going to intensify quickly, even becoming a category major hurricane, category four hurricane during the day tomorrow before it's expected to make landfall over Florida. And then it could even maintain its strength as a category one hurricane over portions of Georgia as it heads toward Atlanta. So we're going to continue to monitor this hurricane. You can see as it churns toward Florida uh, into tomorrow, expected to make landfall near Tallahassee, Florida later tomorrow evening, then continue moving northward over Georgia, right near Atlanta, weakening, and then its remnants continue to bring heavy rain across portions of the Tennessee River Valley. Also, uh, basically, Cincinnati, Memphis. Some of the clouds might make it up to our area Friday night with some showers, too, into Saturday, uh, but expecting to be across the southern tier, northern Pennsylvania, and just showers activity. Uh, so we'll keep a close eye on that as it continues to track, at least nearby. Could see some showers, too, on Monday locally south of Buffalo. All right, tonight's forecast back here at home. Cloudy, mild, some of those showers moving through. Once again, isolated thunderstorm late. Mild, low temperatures, low 60s. Tomorrow's highs, mid 70s, with some sunshine after a morning rain shower. Seven day forecast, more sunshine, beautiful for Friday. High temperatures, mid 70s, even some upper 70s as we head into Saturday. We'll watch some of those showers south during the day on Saturday. Not looking like a ton at all. Just some scattered light rain again on Monday, and then a system coming through Tuesday uh, will continue to track as well. All right, that's the latest of the forecast. We'll be back after this break.